is going to be the tutorial that's going to show you how to make this cow hoodie. And this is using the riptide stitch. And you can make this cow part as thick as you like. If you like a more of a bunched up on you cow, then uh, feel free to make it as big as you want. And there's the hood. And on the end of the hood, it has a little, um, I guess, border edging. So first, we're going to start off by making the cow. And I made this cow using a six millimeter hook. Uh, or size I for the US and you're going to need two skeins of yarn to make this whole thing and it, I used worst weight yarn uh, four ply for the US, ten ply for the UK so you're going to need two of those and also you're going to need two stitch markers so get those items and let's get started okay to begin you want to chain 80. And for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to have a smaller swatch to show you the stitch. So chain 80, and when you're ready, you want to slip stitch in the beginning chain. And then you want to chain 2. And then you want to do a double crochet, and I'm going under two stitches here. Turn that off. I'm going under both loops in this chain and putting a double crochet. So you want to do that for all of your 80 stitches. And when you get back up to the beginning again, I'll show you what you have to do for the next row. When you get back up to the beginning again, here's your chain two. You want to slip stitch in the top of the chain two. And I'm going to go under two the stitches here of the chain just to get a stronger connection. And then chain two. Now for round two, you're going to be doing back post double crochets. You're going to be using the post. So you're going to go in between the stitches, push that post back, and then do a double crochet using the post instead of the stitch. And you want to do that for every single post of this row. And you can see, I'm trying to get a few done here. You can see that there's a ridge that's starting to form. So you want to continue to do that all the way around. Just going in between the stitches, pushing the stitch back, and doing a double crochet. That's a back post double crochet. And I'll see you back here in a moment. When you get back to the beginning, you don't do a front post, I mean a back post double crochet on your chain. You just find the top of your chain and slip stitch into the top of it. Now you're going to repeat those two rows over and over again. So for round three, you'll begin by chaining two and then doing a double crochet in each stitch around. And then when you get done at the end of this row, you'll slip stitch again in the top of your chain two. And then you'll chain two again, and then you'll start your back post double crochet. So you're just going to be alternating those two rows, double crochet, and then you'll put a back post double crochet using the post of the previous row of double crochets here. So you want to do this. I have mine for a total of 15 rounds. So that's one, two, and then you continue on until you have, let me get my scarf here until I had a total of 15 rounds here and then like I said you can make it thicker if you like it's just important that you end 
on a, on a row where you just did the back post double crochet and you're ready to start a row of double crochets. So if you want to make it thicker, that's fine. Just end on a row where you just finished your, your back post double crochet and your next round you're ready to do your double crochet. So when you've got to that point, you want to cut your yarn. Don't do your rounds of double crochets yet. You cut your yarn and then I have a picture I'll show you, probably a lot easier. You'll have it facing this back part. It's pretty easy to see because it's got uh, kind of a line. So you'll know that this is the very back. And without this hood on it, you can see your stitches up front. You want to find the very most middle stitch and then count over 15 stitches. So you'll go count to the right first and count your uh, stitch that you're holding. So you'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. You'll have 15 stitches and when you get to your 15th stitch on this side, you'll want to place a marker on this side. So you can count over, if, you, if you're holding still the middle, then you can just count over 14 stitches this way. Or you can count right from your marker and count over 30 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. Anyway, you count over, you find your 30 stitches, or if you had your middle, then you counted over 14, you just need to make sure from this marker to this marker that you have 30 stitches. And since we have a total of 80 stitches, 50 of those stitches will be used to make the hood. And these other 30 stitches will be where you'll, you'll look through. So once you have those marked, you enter from your stitch area, I mean from your marked area to the left because I'm right-handed. If you're left-handed, then you'll work starting from the, the other side. Just a second, try to steal my markers here. Because I got a swatch and I'm gonna show you. Say this is my 30 stitches from here. here so we'll just pretend that this is my place where I'm going to have you know to look through my hood and this is going to be the hood the hood part so you'll want to start whoops actually <laughs> since I'm crocheting this direction this will have to be my hood part Let's see, small here, big here, yes. Okay, so we will pretend the smaller section here is the part you're gonna look through and this will be your hood. Because I have my direction of my crochet going this way, so you want to have your crochet going this direction because you're not going to be crocheting in this part here. You're just gonna be going back and forth, back and forth now. So let me get a little forward. Now, here is just the swatch. You need to reattach your yarn. And how you want to do that, I recommend, is... Where's my other yarn here? Okay, since you're going to have to reattach your yarn here where your marker is, I'm going to show you how to do that to make it look the best. So I'm just going to make my slip knot and then you want to wrap the yarn around just like you're going to do a double crochet and I'm just going to hold it here with my finger, put it in my stitch that I want to work with and then yarn over and pull a stitch through that loop. Then you yarn over, you pull through two of your loops and then yarn over and pull through the other two loops. And that's just a way you can uh, attach it by double crochet method. And then you just continue to double crochet 
until you reach your next marker on this side. Okay, I just double crocheted over to my marker. You'll wanna chain two and turn. And when you're going this direction, you're going to be doing front post double crochets because you want this part to remain the same. But coming from this direction, you can't do back post because then it'll be inside. So you want to do, it's going to be hard to do the front post like this. Actually, it is back post for me. So I'm going to do, no, it's front post. <laughs> Sorry, I'm confusing myself. When you do a front post, you just go in and you pull up that post and then do a double crochet. And go in, pull up that post, do a double crochet. So yeah, it's front post. Should be front post for you too. So you want to continue to to uh, do your front post double crochets until you reach your stitch marker on the other side. Oops, almost forgot my light. Okay, make sure that you do your chain on the end here as a stitch. Chain two and turn and you can see now that you still have the same pattern going. And then this row is just, oops, this chain two at the beginning counts as your first stitch. So you wanna do your first double crochet in the second chain, I mean second stitch. Cause you don't wanna double up here. If you do, then it's going your hood is gonna start going off to the side. So make sure that first chain two count as a stitch. Do a double crochet in the second. And just do your double crochets all the way to the end. I wanna show you something else when I get to the end here. So I'll see you back in a moment. Okay. When you get to the end of a double crochet row here on the hood, remember that when you started your your front post double crochet row, you did a front post double crochet on the uh, chain. So there's actually two stitches here in the same stitch. So you only want to use one of them. So you have your stitch here and then you have your chain beside it. You want to do your last double crochet in the double crochet and ignore this chain like it doesn't exist. Do not put a stitch in this chain. So on the end of a double crochet row, only put a double crochet in the last double crochet, not the chain. Then you'll chain two and continue. And remember on the beginning of a double crochet row, always count the chain two at the very beginning as a stitch. And then your hood will remain straight as you're going along. Now, I did these rows. We've done uh, two rows now. I repeated these rows for a total of 18 rounds. So you've done two. So you need to do six more, I mean 16 more. And you want to make sure that your last row is a front post double crochet row. Just like before you started uh, your hood, you ended on a row where you had done your back post double crochets. You want the same for your hood. You want it to be a back post single crochet row because then when you take those two rows and you sew them together, it's going to look a lot more even. You're not gonna have such a separation because the idea so once you get a few rows going, I'm going to do this next row and then I'm going to show you how to make the actual part of the hood. So you want to go ahead and continue to do a total of 18 rounds back and forth using the front post double crochet and, and uh, double crochet rows. Do a total of 18 rounds of that and I'll see you back here. Okay. For my little swatch here I'm doing for you, my little uh, demonstration piece. I went ahead and ended on a row, like I told you, where I just did the front post double crochets. 
Now, when you're ready to make your hood and you've got your 18 total rows uh, done, then you want to make sure that the good side is showing. The good side that's showing is on the inside when you fold it in half. I'm going to fold it in half like this from the beginning stitch to the end stitch. And this is how you close your hood. Now I have uh, the chain and the double crochet here. Let me get a little closer here. Again, we're going to ignore that chain. And I'm just going to be going through the double crochet and do a slip stitch. Now it may not be perfect you know, stitch for stitch, but try to, to make it a stitch for stitch as you can. And you'll be going under loop on one side and then the loop, the stitch on the other side. And you'll be doing a slip stitch. Do it loosely. Be very careful of your tension here. You do not want it to pull on your yarn. So make a bigger loop if you need to. Then go into the next stitches slip stitch. You do not want it to pull together in any way. Do this very loosely. Continue to slip stitch down to your very last stitch. And when you get done with your very last stitch, you'll want to chain one and cut your yarn. And you can turn your hood inside out. And then you can see your little hood here. A little mini hood. You can put it on a doll. So now I'm going to show you how to make this trimming on the edge of your hood. Okay. So you want to get your stitch markers again. And this is your hood. You want to lay it down like this. You want to find the very first stitch of your hood. So in this case, in this case, this was my last row, and this is my first row, of, I mean the first stitch here of my hood. So I'm going to put a marker to mark my first stitch on this side, and then you want to do the same for the other side. This is going to be my first stitch and this is my first stitch on this side. Just a second here. Okay. Okay, so once you've got it marked since I start crocheting from this side, because I'm right-handed, you want to re-grab your yarn. Of course, you'll be using the same color, or you can use a different color. It's up to you. This one just so happened to be kind of white on my variegated yarn at the time, so my border is kind of uh, mostly white, which is kind of pretty. So, you want to attach. This uh, stitch here is above. So maybe I should actually start here on this side. Yeah, I did it for this side, but I didn't do it for this side. Because this is the first, it's kind of elevated because it's a double crochet. You want it to be as even as you can, so this is the very first start. Whenever it's, it stops being so level here, that's where you want to start your first stitch. So, I'm going to go in. We're going to be doing a single crochet. So, I'm going to do a single crochet attachment. Going in, pulling up a loop, two loops on my hook, yarn over, and you pull through both loops. Now, in each section, each place where there's a double crochet, big like that, big stitch, put a single crochet. Then find your next big stitch. Don't use these small stitches. 
just use these big stitches where there's a double crochet. Let's find your next big stitch, put a single crochet in there. Find your next big stitch, which this one is a, uh, a chain and the double crochet. This is where you did a front post double crochet and it kind of became one stitch. You want to just go into that big stitch under it and then just single crochet over both of them as if they're one stitch. Find your next big stitch, single crochet. Then again, I have the double chain and double crochet. I'm going to use it as a one stitch. And you continue that till you get all the way up to the beginning again. So when you've gotten all the way back and you're ready to start the next section, you want to chain one and you're going to turn. Now you're going to be working in these single crochets that you just made from last round. So at the very beginning, I'm trying to see my pattern here. Yeah. Very beginning, you want to start by doing a puff stitch. So you just want to yarn over, go into the stitch, pull up a loop. That's one. Yarn over, go into that same stitch, pull up a loop. That's two. Yarn over, go into that stitch, pull up a, a loop. That's your third time doing that. So after you have, you've done it three times, you have seven loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all seven loops and chain one. The next stitch, you want to do a single crochet. The next stitch, you'll do a puff stitch. You're going to be alternating puff stitch, single crochet, puff stitch, single crochet. Again, you want to yarn over, go into the stitch, pull up a loop. Yarn over, go into that stitch, pull up a loop. That's twice. Yarn over, go into that stitch, pull up a loop. That's three times. Seven loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through all seven loops and chain one. The next stitch, single crochet. And then again, a puff stitch. Yarn over and go through the stitch three times. That's one two, and three. Seven loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through all seven loops, if you can. <sighs> then chain one, then single crochet. So continue this all the way around till you get back up to the beginning again. And that's it, once you get done with the border, then you're finished. And it doesn't matter, you can end on a puff stitch or you end on a uh, single crochet. But if you ended on a single crochet and you start on a puff stitch and you have 50 stitches like me, then it probably means that you missed a stitch. You uh, puff stitch twice or you did a single crochet twice. So you should end with puff stitch, puff stitch. But it, it's not that big a deal if you miss one. But if you want perfection, then just keep that in mind. You end, with a, you end and begin with a puff stitch. So that's it. I hope that you liked this tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to click like and please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.